Hey guys, Prince Rich with philosophyofdreams.com and today is yet again another anniversary of, unfortunately, of the September uh, 9-11 terrorist attacks. And, you know, on a day like today, it is probably not unusual for people all around the world to have a dream that is in relation to the September uh, 9-11 terrorist attacks. So, what I want to go over in this one is what does dreaming about the terrorist attacks of September 9-11 mean? What does it mean, or briefly, or I guess we'll say in the basic sense interpreted, what does it mean if you were to have a dream of something like this? Or like this particular event? So one thing I want to cover is this. First of all, there are many variations of a type of dream that someone could have about the uh, attacks of September 9-11. Um, for example, you know, in your dream, you might be the pilot of one of the planes, and in the dream, you might be the pilot and you feel that you're out of control, and it crashes into the towers, just as it did um, on that unfortunate day. Or, on the other hand, you might have a dream that you're the pilot or one of the passengers, and through whatever brave uh, task or endeavors you did, you were able to save yourself, the plane, and the people, and the passengers on the plane, and, um, and avoid uh, death or destruction or something like that. Uh, you know, you may have had a dream where, to your surprise, you were one of the terrorists or one of the people, uh, you know, at play that caused the attacks. The potential meaning behind all of these different scenarios that the dreamer may have about the dream does have a direct impact on what that dream may mean, especially to that dreamer. So what we are going to do here is I am going to define the most common dream symbols that one would see if they were to have a dream about the September 9-11 attacks and we're, I'm going to define what those symbols each mean in their general form to better help you maybe understand what your dream is telling you and what the dream means um, if you've had a dream like this before. So. Before we get into the individual dream symbols, the most common dream symbols that would come up in a dream about September 9-11 attacks, I want to talk about just the general sense of the attack. I think we can all agree, you know, regardless of nationality, regardless of where we live, especially for those of us that saw it on the news, you know, as it was happening, for those of you that are listening, that are watching, that are listening to this, that are old enough to have been alive when this happened, you know, and you saw this going on in the news and all that, or saw it live on the news, or witnessed it for that matter. Some of you who may have been in New York at the time or witnessed this, I don't think I have to tell you that the typical emotions and typical you know, emotional symbolism revolving around such an experience would be terror, fear, death, and or fear of death, a loss of control. Um, the other thing could be something like an invasion and f a feeling of, of your sense of security or your sense of safety, your place of safety being invaded by an unknown or an unwanted force, so to speak. Just to give you guys a little back history, a little uh, backstory about myself, um, back when uh, the attacks of September 9-11 happened, my uh, wife, who was actually my girlfriend at the time, um, she was actually uh, in school to become a certified groomer in Michigan. She had been, um, the company that she worked for who had decided to send her to school, all expenses paid, had sent her for somewhere in the ballpark of about a month and a half. During the last week of her stay, and she had um, plane tickets that were paid for by the company, round trip, um, to Michigan and then back from Michigan to Virginia. During the last week of her stay, while she was waiting for her uh, scheduled flight to return home, uh, the attacks uh, of 9-11 happened. As you can imagine, she was absolutely terrified and she called me and told me there is absolutely 
positively no way that I am getting on a plane to come back home and she was quite terrified so I decided okay no big deal I'll go ahead and spend a little money to get a Greyhound and I'll come and get you I'll come like a few days before you're supposed to leave you know I'll stay with you until it's time for us to pack and go and then we'll come back on my way to Michigan on the Greyhound we actually took Interstate 95 which for those of you who uh, have been to Northern Virginia or been to the DC area you know that you can see the Pentagon directly off the street um, so I had the um, even though I found it awe-inspiring I had the unfortunate uh, I had the unfortunate pleasure of being able to see the Pentagon with the actual hole in the side of it which when I passed it I want to say it was maybe about three days after the attacks when I passed it on the Greyhound I mean it was it was basically just a smoking hole like you could clearly see that there was damage it was a smoking hole you could clearly see that something catastrophic had happened to the building now the only reason that I bring this up and I tell you that story is because at the time, you know, I, I saw this happening on the news, which for me brought in an overwhelming sense of fear and secure and, and insecurity in, you know, am I safe in my home country? Am I safe from whoever caused this? You know, if, is my safety at risk and, and uh, what's going to get bombed next? So on and so forth. Now, at the time when I had when this had happened, I wasn't into dreams, so I will I will wholly admit I didn't remember my dreams um, because I didn't you know I wasn't involved in the practice of of dream interpretation or trying to remember my dreams. But ten to one, I'm willing to bet you, even though I didn't consciously remember them, I'm sure that I had all types of dreams in in relation to the attacks when that happened because of seeing and witnessing such a thing something that only some people saw on news I saw that it was there that it had really happened and I saw the aftermath impact from it so the point is and the reason that I bring that up and tell the story is because for those of you again before we get into the individual symbols that are listening to this that were alive and witnessed those events and had to had to deal with the strong emotional the strong emotions that came from such an event I am sure that you had dreams that were related to 9-11 um, and most of them, especially at the time, I'm willing to bet you that the dream revolved around the aspect of fear, fear, insecurity, and just a, a sense of not being in control of one's own safety and potentially even one's own country or, or peace of mind. So, here we go. Let's get into the individual most common symbols that you would see or potentially encounter in a dream about the September 9-11 attacks and I'm going to explain to you what they would be. The first dream symbol is people. So rule number one, and you guys have heard, about, heard me talk about this in many videos, people in your dreams always represent you with the exception of rare occasions that some may classify as visitations which I do think could be potentially possible I've never personally had one and I don't have any scientific empirical proof but I have worked with many dreamers around the world that have produced some fairly convincing evidence that they were maybe visited by what I commonly refer to as the other someone who is not a projection of the self or a, a, a fragment of subconscious mind but quite frankly potentially another entity not you not of your mind or consciousness but under normal circumstances and for the purposes of this video people in a dream are always you so the question is for this dream symbol people or a person ask yourself in this particular dream about these attacks what were they doing you know were they talking to you were they running scared were they fearful while everything was burning and coming down to a you know a crashing rumble were they happy were, you know what were they doing that will give you some great insight into why you maybe had this dream uh, and what 
may have triggered you to encounter this dream person or dream peoples during such a dream and give you insight into what that dream is telling you. Um, lastly, I want to say if those people are talking in this dream, you need to listen. You need to take heed to what they are saying because people talking in a dream is... I mean, you wouldn't even need a professional dream interpretation from me or from any expert from a dream where you have somebody talking. Unless they're saying something that's just completely off the wall, you could, people talking in a dream is of the utmost value because you can get direct uh, you can get direct insight and direct answers from what your subconscious mind or what the dream is trying to tell you. So again, people in the dream represent you. The question is, what are they doing? How are they reacting? Are they scared? Are they happy? Are they fearful? You know, what did they say to you? What they said and how they're acting and what they're doing will give insight into what you may be subconsciously doing or thinking in your own life. The next dream symbol is an airplane. Um, this is probably one of the most common symbols that someone would see in a uh, dream uh, in regards to in a dream regarding um, the attacks of September 9/11. An airplane, in the basic sense, is a vehicle that carries a group of people, typically more than one, to a common destination. You may not know everybody that's on the plane, but you're all headed in a common destination. So a typical translation of an airplane, especially a passenger jet that has yourself and, and or multiple passengers on it, a typical translation of such a thing is a representation of a group, organization, or a body of people that is related to your normal life. So for example, it could be something like uh, your Rotary Club, or like a group that you meet with on the weekends to talk about, you know, movies, or to talk about books, or something like that. It could be a church congregation. The question is, is while you're on this airplane, how do you interact with this group? Do you get along with them well? Are you sitting there in this group thinking, oh my god, I don't want to be around these people? You know, does the plane get to its destination safely? Or does the thing crash and burn? This could give you insight into some groups or groups of persons that you associate yourself with in your normal waking life and give you insight into what you may really subconsciously think about that group of people. You know, it's funny, like, I had talked to uh, a woman whose dream I interpreted many years back, and she was part of a church where, you know, she was only going to the church because the rest of her family went to the church. And she really just felt kind of out of place. She wasn't there because she felt that she fit. She wasn't there because she felt that the message that she was getting from the pastor and the, uh, and the other, you know, and the other people in charge was for her. She was only really going just to keep the family happy. And she had a dream. She had many dreams where you know, she was always there and just couldn't get along with these people. And the thing that's funny is, is that dream is clearly telling you, you, even though you don't want to consciously admit it to yourself, because if you consciously admitted it to yourself, if you, you know, had the power to do so, you would leave and go find another group of people to go and, you know, spend your time with. But it was almost as if she subconsciously the dream clearly was showing her that she didn't fit and she knew she didn't fit but she hadn't consciously admitted it to herself and made up in her mind to make the change so the question is when you're on this plane who are the people how do you interact with the people and does this thing get to its destination safely um, analyze all that and then ask yourself what bodies or groups of people do I associate with and how does how similar is the actions in this dream to how I interact with these groups in my waking life. The next major dream symbol is a building. Um, in this case, I guess we could say specifically the Twin Towers or some sort of a building-like structure that is tall that has many, many floors. This is actually a really interesting one because there are many movies out there that have tried to convey the idea 
of the human mind, its contents, its many levels into the inner levels of mind, and they have used buildings. Movies such as The Matrix, um, Inception, and many, many more have used buildings, building structures, to symbolically convey the idea of the contents of the mind and the inner levels of mind that you could travel through, so to speak. So, what you need to understand is if you're in a building, what is going on in this building? You know, are you traveling through this building freely? Is it crumbling on top of itself? Is it on fire? Is there people running around and screaming and trying to get free? What is going on in your dream in this building? Because this will give you some insight into the contents, or I won't say the contents of your mind. It will give you some insight into your state of mind, your level of awareness, and your state of mind in the day or so before you had this dream. Um, again, this is a difficult concept, um, so any of you that are listening to this, I would love to hear your comments in regards to what were you doing in this building, because once you understand the idea of the inner levels of mind, and how a building, and you moving through the different levels of the building works, you'll begin to see kind of where I'm headed with this. Um, it's funny because basements are always signified as the deepest levels of mind, the lower levels of mind where, what do we normally do in a basement? For those of us who haven't renovated a basement and turned it into, you know, like a mother-in-law suite or something like that, what do we normally do with a basement? You normally put things in there that you don't need anymore. You almost treat it similar to an attic. The mind is the same way. Um, for example, some of you may have some things that happened to you in your childhood years or in your adult years or young adult years that you, you just want to forget about it. You don't want to think about it. It doesn't really bring you a whole lot of emotional pleasure when the subject or the idea comes up. And so even though the memory is very much still there, there in your mind subconsciously, consciously you've kind of shoved it under the table, so to speak. Um, so I hope that gives better insight into what a building can mean, what the building is doing, and what you are doing in the building, and what other persons in this dream are doing in the building will give you some insight into your current state of mind, your state of thoughts, in the uh, day or so before you had the dream. An explosion is our next major symbol, and this is actually a really easy one. So, by the normal definition, an explosion typically is a rapid and massive release and expansion of energy. Um, in this scenario, this could signify thoughts. Um, but sometimes this could be a good thing. I know a lot of you listening to this are probably thinking, Oh my god, an explosion in my dream? That must be a bad thing. No, not necessarily. Um, some of us, we hold a lot of thoughts in, you know, it could be a grudge, it could be some anger that you're holding in towards, um, a particular person or towards a particular, you know, happening that happened or what it may be. For me, and I've had dreams of explosions, everything from volcanic explosions to a bomb exploding, etc. For me in the past, when I have witnessed an explosion, in a dream and I backtracked my thoughts, it was almost as if a release of negative thoughts. Almost like, you know, when they say, you know, lifting, you know, you lifted a, a weight off of your back or something like that. Something like that. A letting, almost like the idea of a letting go. A letting go of, 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 of built up thoughts, whether it be anger or sorrow or whatever it may be. So if you've witnessed an explosion in your dream of 9-11 attacks, think back to the day or before you had this dream and, and just ask, you know, what, what happened to me in my normal life in my thoughts and emotions that may signify this. It can go the other way around. It could also mean that you had something on your mind or you had something going on in your waking life that you felt like it was it was volatile. It was on the state of volatility and that it could have went south so to speak, at any point. So it can mean or can signify something of the negative. It can go either way, but you would know if you think back to the day or for, before you had this dream, think back to, to what may have triggered an explosion in your dream and what that may represent in your, uh, in your thought process and your emotional state. The next major dream symbol is fire. 
Now, fire in the general sense through all history is almost used for cleansing. Almost always. It's obviously used for cooking, but in the natural sense, when you think of things like the formation of the earth um, and so on and so forth, fire, all things set aside, is a good thing. Um, I actually live near an active volcano, and it's funny because you know, when I moved to a place that has volcanoes and whatnot, I, I became interested in the concept of volcanism, and I thought, you know, I'm going to research this stuff, and what I found was, and for those of you who have traveled, you know this, is that typically, the most beautiful places in the world have volcanoes. Many of them. Part of this is because volcanic activity and fire is it, it is it is the process of cleansing and basically I guess we'll say paving the way for recreation. Uh, it's funny because if you look at modern and old day religions uh, with the with the exception of the symbol of hell other than the symbol of hell if you look at modern day and older religions and religious practices you'll find that fire is almost always a symbol of cleansing. It, it almost to some degree symbols the idea of baptism, of cleansing uh, cleansing the earth or cleansing a person or cleansing a situation or way of life or way of thinking to pave anew. So um, if you experience fire in your dream, um, what was the fire doing? Was it burning everything down? Was it burning you? Was it burning other people? This will give you insight, I would think, into some things that you may be changing in your life or may have had some thoughts about changing. Fire means change, so to speak. Or fire is a tool that induces change. The next major dream symbol is smoke. This is a really quick and easy one. Smoke is a byproduct of fire. So, going back to what I just finished talking about in regards to fire, and that fire in most all mythical, uh, you know, uh, mythical uh, teachings and religion symbolizes change. It symbolizes almost like a a a a, a burning, a cauterizing of an existing of existing matter for something new to come about. Something newer, and not only newer, better. Smoke is a byproduct of that fire. So, smoke would typically symbolize the aftermath. It would symbolize the thoughts that well up from a, uh, a change brought on by fire. So, for example, let's say uh, that your dream had fire and smoke. Let's say that your dream, you've pinpointed what it means or what you think it means, and that you realize that the fire in your dream does represent to some degree some change that you have going on in your life. I'm sure that you have had many thoughts that have arised in your normal waking life, some that you maybe even dreamed about, where you have thought, I wonder what this is going to be like when this change is finally complete, when this transition is done. Um, a great example is for those of you that are listening that are college students. Every college student that's in college, you know, they're, they're changing. Everything about you is changing. Your identity, who you think you are. You're trying to find yourself in the world. You're trying to create a career and have other people identify you as a specific professional in whatever your chosen, you know, field or career path may be. All of you are having thoughts all the time of, I wonder what this is going to be like when, when, when this change is complete, when this is done, when I complete my studies. The smoke would symbolize to some degree something like this. It is the idea or the, the contemplation of the thoughts or the observation among the thoughts of what you would envision or what that change from the fire would be like on the other side. The next major dream symbol is death. Um, this is a big dream symbol, not just in a dream about September 9-11, but death is a very common and major dream symbol in the dreams of many people. Alan Watts once said that death implies life. What I mean by that is death is transition. Death is major change. So for example, if you die in a dream or you are seeing other people dying in a dream, think back to 
to the day or so, or maybe even the week or so before you had this dream and ask yourself, what have I been up to, or what have I been thinking about in my life that I know or am expecting is going to induce and cause some major change in the way that I do things or the way that I think about things. This is one of the easiest dream symbols to interpret and also be able to identify because typically if you the dreamer are undergoing some serious change in your life, whether it's cause change that you are, that you are wanting to happen or whether it's force change, something that is changing in your life that is against your own will, you know, you you would know about that. Now here is a is a pro tip. In the dream, when you or the persons that die in the dream die, are they resisting the death or are they giving in to it? This is this is hugely important because this will give insight into how you take change, how you accept and deal with change in your life for whatever particular situation you've got going on. Um, back to the volcano dream, I had a volcano dream uh, uh, actually a couple of weeks ago from the time that I um, am doing this video. And in the dream, the volcano that is about four miles from my house blew. And when I say it blew, I mean it blew. Like there were lava bombs in the air and fire everywhere and I could see lava that was on the ground that was coming towards my house that I knew eventually was going to ignite the entire house and burn it and my entire neighborhood down. And the thing that was funny about the dream was I didn't even care. I literally was standing out there just staring at all of this fire in the sky coming down and raining down, tearing everything to shreds as if it was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. It was almost as if I gladly welcomed it. Um, the thing that's funny is at the time that I had the dream, I had decided and made a personal promise to myself that I was going to get back to my dream interpretation and research. I had fell behind on it because of some personal matters. But for those of you who listen to me, you know it truly is my passion. And it's funny because that week I had decided... I don't care what it does to my normal day business. I don't care if it means I have to work the weekends. I'm going to get back into the dream research and interpretation. I'm going to get back into what I love doing. It is what it is. I truly believe that that dream that I had just two to three days after I had consciously made the decision to make the change in my life to get back to what I loved, I truly believe that that dream signified that because I knew that the change that I needed to do to get back on track was going to be painful, but I, but I gladly welcomed it. I was okay with it. And it was funny because in the dream, people are running, people are screaming, this volcano is exploding. I mean, it's just fire in the sky everywhere, lava bombs, trees are on fire, everything. And I swear, in this dream, it was the most beautiful thing I ever seen. I gladly welcomed it. Um, I, w I almost wished I had a camera at the time. <laughs> so... Anyways, the final dream symbol is terrorist. Now, this one, I want to be very clear on because I understand that there is a lot of differing opinions between who caused 9-11 and, you know, what side is, is guilty and who did what and so on and so forth. I don't want to get into all that because the idea of terrorist has a sense of duality. It very much does. Um, for example, you know, there's an old saying, one man's hero is another man's terrorist. And I'll just leave it at that. So as I get into this definition of this dream symbol, I want those of you listening of other cultures, other religions, other backgrounds, and all around the world to understand that I don't personally label anyone as a terrorist. You have to understand that in your dream, what you believe to be a terrorist or what you represent in your mind as a terrorist is, is, is what your dream is conveying to you. So my opinion means nothing in this regard, but I'm going to give you the definition of terrorist dream symbol from the perspective of you, the dreamer, of what it should be or would be. I think for all of us, we can all agree that a terrorist, regardless of nationality, what you view as a terrorist in your home or your country, is someone of a foreign nature that means to do you harm. That you perceive, even though their motives may be differently, typically it is someone that you perceive, personally, subjectively, as someone that tends to do you harm, that 
is from another country or land that that does not agree with or is opposed to your way of life. Now, this is a really interesting and important symbol because I want to throw something out. A terrorist also falls into the people dream symbol category. It's just a more specific dream symbol. So, what did we say in regards to people? People in dreams are always you. So, the terrorist in your dream is you. The question is that you need to ask yourself is how do you view this terrorist? Do you view him as someone who means to do you harm? Or are you having a very unusual 9-11 dream where you and the terrorist are buddies or something like that and he decides to lay down his arms and turn himself in and apologize and all that kind of stuff? What is he doing, he or she? What is his demeanor? You know, what does he say, if anything, because he is you. He is an aspect of you in the dream. And typically, I, I, can assume, I can only assume that the majority of you that are listening to this, thinking about the terrorist, you view him as, as, as someone, as something negative. You view him as, again, someone that means to do you harm, that you are afraid of, that you fear. Ask, you need to really research up on what that person means and then ask yourself, what was I doing or what aspects of myself in the previous day or so before I had this dream are foreign to me? What aspects of myself do I view as something that is opposite of the way that I want to live or the way that I want to conduct my life and control my thoughts. This is typically what a terrorist in a dream would mean. It's an aspect of yourself that you fear, that you don't like, or something like Carl Jung would have said in, uh, in his teachings. So it's, it would be an aspect of the shadow, something that is foreign to you that, that you don't identify with either yet or you don't identify with it very well. There are two final points that I want to make to uh, wrap this video up. That, uh, that It's two particular categories of persons that may have a dream about 9-11 that doesn't fall into the typical category for those of us who may not have been touched by it. Uh, unfortunately, as, as badly as people who were very close to, uh, to that tragic event. The first one is people who actually witnessed 9-11. You know, people who actually witnessed it, meaning they were physically or literally at ground zero. They escaped the Twin Towers. You know, they, uh, it, another person will say who could have witnessed it. Let's say that you were someone who was at the airport and your next flight that you were supposed to catch was one of the flights that, as we all know, never made it to its destination. That would impact you in a way much more greatly and differently than the rest of us who, who just saw it through the news or saw it in passing or so on and so forth. Dreams like these, they do indeed have meaning, but they also may bring up some of our worst fears and worst nightmares. They, they introduce into us all over again a sense of insecurity or a contemplation and sense of one's own fate, of what if. What if that were me? Um, so those are some different ones. The second one is visitations versus projections. Now, for those of you listening to this who actually lost a loved one in 9-11 or who knows someone that lost a loved one or lost someone close to you, your dream would convey something different as well. However, in my experiences in dream research, most of the time, those persons in the dreams are projections. However, I do believe, and I have talked to people that have claimed such a thing in other non-related type dreams, they could, it could be a potential visitation. It could be, it could be that you are someone who lost a loved one in 9-11 and you believe that that person has visited you in your dreams at night. Now, I actually met a woman years back. Well, I didn't meet her. We chatted online, but I chatted with a woman years back um, who commented in an old forum that I had that said that she lost her husband during the 9-11 attacks. I don't know how or where. She didn't go into all those details, but I was talking about lucid dreaming, and she commented, and she just said that 
you know, she found the ability of lucid dream and just dreaming in general amazing because it was the only way that she could see her husband again. Now, she by no means stated that her husband was literally her husband. She knew that he was gone. He was no longer on this earth, or at least not his consciousness. She knew that it was not him. She knew it was only a projection of him. But the thing that I found so touching and so intriguing about the conversation that we had was that she was amazed at the ability for the subconscious mind to store such detail. Detail that we don't really have the conscious ability to memorize. She was saying that she would have dreams very often of her husband and in the dreams he would smell, look, and talk exactly the same and act exactly the same way as he did up until the up until the years until she lost him and I found that really impressive and really interesting that she almost had found a way to use her dreams as sort of her own personal dream therapy to be able to cope with the death and loss of her husband from the 9-11 attacks so um, again I hope this uh, helps you guys break down your dream and see if you can find some insight out of them. Um, you guys that have been having dreams about the, um, the September 9-11 attacks. Uh, again, this is Prince Rich with philosophyofdreams.com and I will chat with you guys again in a future video.